Hello and welcome to another Wicked Gameplay episode. Today we're back in X-Plane and we are in the Carinado B-1900. Um, one of my favourite aircrafts for X-Plane, but we're not here to look at a plane today. We're going to be looking at something a little bit different. And this is a very new plugin that's been developed by a guy named Lee Baker uh, called Plane Command. And essentially what this plugin is for is to assist you when flying. And that was something I thought was really, really cool. So instead of having to manage the whole plane yourself, you could get a co-pilot to actually assist you in setting your nav, uh, putting your gear up for you, setting your altimeter, all that stuff if you're really busy in the cockpit and you uh, want some assistance. So what I'm going to do is have a little look through this, um, through the commands that are available, and there's quite a few. Um, how this plugin works, currently it is supporting all the default planes, I believe, but from my own tests, and I've done a few different aircraft, uh, none of the um, uh, the the airliners yet, but uh, some of the GA aircraft I have, I've tested it, and it seems to work in the majority of cases. Um, the only thing it hasn't worked on in this plane so far testing it is the setting the course, but um, other than that, everything else seems to be working pretty good. So let me have a look at what some of the commands were here. Um, we're going to go through these and I'll show you what sort of things you can do. So let's have a little look at some of the free features. Um, so we can look at some of the free features here. We'll go, let's jump outside and I'll show you some of these. So we'll get down here and basically what you do is you map one of your uh, a keyboard command or a button on your joystick or whatever to to the plug-in to listen and you'll see up there in the top right hand corner you'll see there's a little headphone my uh, little headphone icon when I press my button here you'll see it's recording what I'm saying so let's have a little look at what this Altitude can do set to 95,000 feet as you can see it's uh, not perfect it thinks I wanted to set my altitude to 95,000 feet what we're gonna do though is is set the flaps flaps down flaps down Flaps down. Flaps down. Flaps down. Flaps already down. And you can see what it does if it's already down. Flaps up. Flaps up. Flaps up. Flaps up. Now you can also have variations of what you say. Lower flaps. Flaps down. I haven't tried this one, but let's try it. Raise flaps. Flaps up. There you go. So it's smart enough to kind of get the idea of what you're trying to say. So there's no set command, which is pretty it's pretty insane. That's pretty crazy. I was super impressed by that. Um, so it does flaps. It also does landing gear. We're not going to do landing gear on the ground here, but we're going to do a little quick uh, takeoff, and then I'll end the video on that. But we'll put the gear up there. Uh, let's jump back in the cockpit, and uh, let's have a look at the radios here. So we'll get the GPS open here, and uh, let's look at some of their examples. Please tune COM1 to 125.3. COM1 set to 125.3. I'd already had it to that, so let's try... Uh, flip COM1. COM1 set to 1 to 0 0.5. So you can see you can flip it. Set COM1 to 124.3. COM1 set to 124.3. Flip COM. Flip COM. So it is doing that. It's, it's not actually saying it on each one of those times. Flip com. So it is flipping it, but it's not telling you it's flipped. Set com 2 to 125.3. Com to set to 125.3. And if you look down at com 2, it has actually set that as well. So you can set, you can set your radios for you. Turn transponder on. Transponder is on. Put transponder on standby. Transponder is on standby. Now, as far as I know, you can't set it to the alt or any of the other settings. Set transponder to mode S. Transponder set to 2 to 0, 6. So it's not always perfect. Uh, what's an example he's got here? Set transponder to 4255. Transponder set to 4225. Okay. Turn transponder off. Transponder is off. 
Okay, so you can see there's some transponder commands. So we'll go on to the uh, lights here. And for that one, I'm going to switch outside. Let's intend to let's get outside here. We'll look at some of the light settings. Taxi light on. Taxi lights on. Taxi light off. Taxi lights off. Landing lights on. Landing lights on. Landing lights off. Landing lights off. Turn on landing lights. Landing lights on. Turn off landing lights. Landing lights off. Taxi light on, please. Taxi lights on. <laughs> please turn off the taxi light. Taxi lights off. So you can't understand what you're saying. Uh, we've got our strobes here. Strobes light off. Strobe lights off. Strobe light on. Strobe lights on. So there are a couple of examples of the uh, of the lights. Um, it can also do the nav radio. I probably should have showed you that one before, but you can see here they've got some examples. Please tune nav one to one two five point three. NA D one set to one two four point three. Set nav two to one two four point three. NA B to set to one two four point three. So you can see it's doing that. So you can set your nav radios for you. Um, so the Actually, the, the nav, everything I've showed you up to the nav radios is part of the free version. Now, it only costs $10, which is like so cheap uh, for such a cool plug-in. I was, was just stoked at that price and just jumped on it. Um, so the radios, the radio navigation, so let, let me backtrack a bit. Flaps, landing gear, radios, transponder and lights all come with the free version and will cost you nothing. Then the radio navigation to, to tune your nav 1, nav 2 is in the pro version which costs $10. So everything from here on is in the pro version. So we're going to look at um, the autopilot here. So let's have a little look what this says. Where is my autopilot? We can see it here. Autopilot on. Autopilot already on. Autopilot off. Autopilot off. Does it actually show it here? Does it show it up on here? Autopilot on. Autopilot already on. Autopilot off. Autopilot off. Although it doesn't actually show it in there. So it'd be interesting to see how that works. Uh, like I said, this is, is is not built to support third party aircraft yet, although it does seem to do everything that you might expect. So this was an interesting one um, that I saw here. Uh, engage auto throttle. So let's try that. Engage auto throttle. Auto throttle on. Auto throttle off. Auto throttle off. I tried that before and it, it did actually uh, raise my throttles, which uh, I thought was interesting. So we could also say um, flight director on. Flight director on. You can see there it's come on. Flight director off. Flight director off. Turn on flight director. Turn on flight director. Flight director on. Disengage flight director. Flight director off. Okay, so you can get get the idea there. So we can also uh, heading bugs. Um, set heading two five zero. Heading bug set to two five zero degrees. Uh, but it wouldn't do the course. Uh, so I could say set course one two four. N A V one course set to one two four. So it's setting my nav one. It doesn't set my uh, course on here. So this would be what I'm trying to get down here. Unless I'm not doing something right here. So here is, this is here what I'm trying to do. And it doesn't seem to do that. So maybe that's just something I'm not doing right. As I have only had this for about 10 minutes and I've just been through all these. Uh, it also does the uh, speed brakes uh, and spoilers. Obviously this, this aircraft doesn't have those. Okay, so we can also set the uh, altimeter. Let's have a little look at that. Um, set altimeter 3013. Altimeter 2992. So it does get it a little bit wrong sometimes. Set altimeter 3013. Altimeter 3013. There you go. So that works. Um, they've also got some other examples. Put 3051 on the barometer. Altimeter 3051. Put standard pressure on the altimeter. Altimeter 2992. That's very cool. How cool is that? That's pretty, that's pretty amazing. Uh, now we'll go to uh, altitude here. 
we'll say uh, set altitude to flight level 220. Altitude set to 22,200 feet. I think I muddled that up a little bit. Set altitude, flight level 180. Altitude set to 18,000 feet. So you can also mix this up. Set altitude to 12,000. Set altitude 12,000. Set altitude 12,000. Altitude set to 12,000 feet. So you can uh, have a bit of a mix there. So you get the general idea of that. Then there's also uh, your other switches like uh, turn beacon on. Beacon on. Beacon lights already off. So it thinks I said off. Beacon off. Beacon lights already off. Beacon on. Beacon lights on. Uh, what else we got? Smoking lights on. No smoking light on. Smoking light off. No smoking light already off. Seatbelt light on. Seatbelt light on. Seatbelt light off. Seatbelt light on. So there you go. So that basically covers all the um, the basic uh, commands and um, very very cool I have to admit. So let's just get this thing on the runway and uh, test out the gear. Um, now I have got this set. Set altimeter 3013. Altimeter 3013. Nice. That means I don't have to do it. So let's get going here. Wonderful. The uh, parking brake off. Taxi lights already off. <laughs> Taxi lights on. Taxi lights on. Parking brake off. Heading bug set to zero five zero degrees. So there you go. It doesn't always understand it. It doesn't do. Uh, it doesn't do. Parking brakes, by the way. get this here on the runway zoomed in a little bit too close here taxi light on taxi lights already on beacon on beacon lights already on flaps one flaps down flaps two flaps up so you can see there, it hasn't quite interpreted what I've, what what I was saying. Flaps up. Flaps already up. Flaps down. Flaps down. Okay, so we got flaps down. Quite hot in here, so we're gonna open the window. Man, that is noisy. We're at my uh, one of my favourite airports. Uh, all right. <laughs> Um, John Wayne International. I was thinking Orange County for some reason. Beacons on. Strobes on. Strobe lights already on. It is so nice to have a little helper for once. <laughs> So you know when you get busy in the cockpit as you're trying to fly a uh, standard instrument departure, you got quite a lot going on. You can get some help setting the um, the nabs, especially if you're flying VOR to VORs, which is quite fun. You know you can get that bit of assistance. What I really want to do though is check out one gear, and I know that does work, but also the autopilot, particularly with this plane, and see if that does actually work. So. Uh, Set flight level one zero zero. Autopilot on. No, that didn't work. Autopilot off. <laughs> Set flight level level one hundred. Set flight level one hundred. Autopilot already on. Autopilot off. Autopilot off. Autopilot off. Set flight level one two zero. Autopilot already on. Autopilot off. Autopilot off. Set altitude flight level 200. Altitude set to 20,000 feet. 
Set altitude 10,000 feet. Altitude set to 8,000 feet. Oh, 8,000 is good enough. <laughs> See, it's not perfect, but it is it's still a version 1, so I'm expecting uh, it's pretty good for a first version, I have to admit. So uh, I'm pretty stoked with this, even though it's not perfect. But, you know, really at $10, it's, it's still a bargain, I'd say. Props full forward. Let's get going. Positive right gear. Positive right gear up. Gear up. Landing gear going up. Flaps up. Flaps up. That is so good. I, I can focus on flying and uh, less focus on uh, trying to get all that done. Not that it's hard, but uh, okay. Let's just see what we got here. Autopilot on. Autopilot already on. It's already on. No, I don't think so. So it's it's not. That's probably not working properly. Um, Autopilot off. Autopilot off. Autopilot on. Autopilot already on. Yeah, so that doesn't seem to be working. So, in this particular aircraft. So, if we go here, set the heading, set some yaw. Um, and we set our altitude select so we can climb. And we might say uh, we're on our heading so we currently got a heading of uh, five zero so let's say we set a heading of uh, set heading one two zero heading bug set to one two zero degrees there you go so now we can get this thing flying where we want it this could be very very cool for uh, flying VOR to VOR just lightening that workload I think there's some other commands set speed bug 180 speed set to 180 knots I don't know if that works in this particular airplane but you can see it has got that kind of functionality so there you go uh, I think we might wrap it up there um, this will probably uh, over speed Gear down. Gear down. Landing gear going down. Gear up. Landing gear going up. Set heading one zero zero. Heading bug set to one zero zero degrees. Very cool. So there you go. That is the uh, plane command plugin, which is currently at version one. Uh, definitely recommend that if you want someone to uh, help you and in most cases it, it works pretty well um, like I said it's it's not fully supporting third-party um, aircraft but I have to admit it does work pretty well so far with the planes that I've tested uh, even though there's a couple of little hiccups and uh, but overall it's pretty good now if you want to check it out there you can try the free version and make sure that the voice control works for you before you pay any money but other than that ten dollars fantastic work. You can buy it directly from his website at planecommand.com. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this useful and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.